Greetings, I'm Dr. Al Freeman, Associate Director of LCMS School Ministry. And with us today is Jennifer Tanner, Education Executive of the Florida Georgia District. Jennifer, I know that everyone is concerned and looking for updates in terms of uh, school ministries, in our case, uh, all, all church workers and all of our ministries in Florida, Georgia. Um, but we're blessed to have you on to update us right now on our school ministries, uh, especially Fort Myers area and so on. How are they doing? Uh, what has happened in terms of Hurricane Ian and our, our ministries there and our church workers? Thanks, Al. I really appreciate the chance to be on and just share a little bit about what is going on in Florida. I'm here in Orlando. It's where our district office is located. So the hurricane is kind of like the tale of two stories. For us in central Florida, it's flooding. I, mean, I had 15 inches of rain in my house, not in my house, where I live overnight. So I'm one of the ones who can say, I have power, my home wasn't damaged. But across the state, it's all the things you would expect from a hurricane. It's fences are down, gutters are down, tarps on roofs, trees to be removed. That's pretty much across the board wherever Ian's path hit. But here in Central Florida, we do have homes that have flooded. Kids saw friends and neighbors being rescued by airboats. Some of them may even have had to be rescued. There were even some helicopters doing some rescues. So even though we didn't have that wind damage, the water is still rising in some places. They're having to relieve some dams. The water just flows and houses that made it during the first days are being flooded now. So that kind of cleanup is gonna take a long time. Obviously Fort Myers is the place we have our eyes turned towards. It is a different story in Naples, Fort Myers, that section of Florida where the hurricane came ashore and the damage, it's, it's hard to explain talking to people down there. On the one hand, we're so blessed. Our campuses, for the most part, have been remarkably undamaged. Yes, there's a lot of trees down. Yes, there's some water damage. But for the most part, our campuses are OK. One of the exceptions to that is Good Shepherd, which is located in North Fort Myers. They had air conditioning units that blew off the top of their school building. So you can manage, you can just imagine what that does to a roof as two ton air conditioner units go off a building. So there's classrooms that were flooded. The cafeteria has had a lot of damage. Their playground has had a lot of damage. St. Michael's in Fort Myers, their campus did remarkably well. They think if they can get power and water back, they may be able to bring students back on campus as early as next week. Wow. But that that's a remarkable miracle. Good Shepherd, we don't know when service will be able to return to those campuses. But then the neighborhoods, the families, the staff, there's so many homes that have damaged, some that are destroyed. There's staff members who are still on the barrier islands and can't get off. There's one whose home was on Pine Island. If you've seen pictures of Pine Island, they've not been able to, they evacuated, but they don't know if they even have a home still there on the island. So for right now, it's reaching out, it's connecting with people, making sure that students are okay, staff is okay. And thank God the reports are so far that everyone's accounted for and is okay. That's outstanding that everyone is accounted for. and. And uh, what a blessing to have so many people involved and engaged right now in helping out. I know Florida Georgia District, uh, your mantra right now is to send uh, gift cards or other items that are easily distributable. And the same case here uh, at the LCMS, our disaster response is engaged in the process of cleaning up, helping out, and anything that they can do in this situation as well. Maybe if you wanted to just uh, talk a little bit, I know that we'll have a lot of schools, a lot of uh, chapel collections, um, people that want to engage in helping out, how can they do so? 
Yeah, items right now, not really helpful. They have so many things to deal with. I talked to one of my principals. She's like, these good hearted, lovely people want to send things to us. And that's just added stress trying to figure out how to receive it. The roads aren't even really passable in a lot of places right now. So for now, the best way you can donate is money, either directly to the Florida Georgia Hurricane Relief or to the LCMS Disaster Relief Fund. Or if you do wanna collect something, gift cards to places like Lowe's, Home Depot, national restaurants. So families can go out and get a hot meal or just take a break from cleanup. Those kinds of things would be helpful at this point. And it, prayer, I mean, engage in prayer for those who have been impacted by this disaster, by Hurricane Ian, and also for those who are going uh, to help in the cleanup effort from those with electrical companies, uh, those from disaster responses and LCMS and other LCMS related agencies, our alert teams that are going out to help out. Uh, so many people are engaged in yes. uh, whatever they can do to respond appropriately to the situation. So th those thankful. are great things to know. Yeah, and so thankful for congregations that are opening themselves to be like those support centers. Zion and Fort Myers did not suffer damage. They're going to be like a major support center for volunteers through LERT. I talked to a school in Inglewood, which is also in that area. The county wants to use them to shelter workers like you were talking about for up to a month. The county doesn't believe they're gonna be able to open their public schools for a month because they're sheltering individuals in the community. So when we talk about a long-term effort, we, we mean it. It's gonna be a long, long, hard road. So prayer is the 100% best tool that we have. Absolutely, and, and you're right. It's a, it's a long-term effort. Uh, we will lift uh, you and all of our ministries in Florida, Georgia district in prayer, those that were impacted by Hurricane Ian. And of course, we have you on from uh, as the education executive in Florida, Georgia district. Uh, we also have uh, SELC schools yes. in Florida and English district schools in Florida. Jennifer, I know that you've been in contact with our education executives uh, covering both of those districts in the schools there as well. Yeah, two of the SELC schools are here in the Orlando area. One had flooding to their gym. The other has flooding to their sanctuary. But again, staff and school families are experiencing those same issues. Yes. Well, I really appreciate you being on with us and updating us on the impact of Hurricane Ian. And if I could close us in prayer. And Please. as we lift up all of our school ministries, in Florida uh, impacted by Hurricane Ian. Let us pray. Almighty God, merciful Father, your thoughts are not our thoughts, your ways not our ways. In your wisdom, uh, this disastrous hurricane uh, has befallen us. We implore you, let not the hearts of your people despair, nor our faith fail us, but sustain and comfort us. Direct all efforts to attend the injured, console the bereaved, and protect the helpless. Deliver any who are still in danger and bring hope and healing that we may find relief and restoration. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Again, thank you so much, Jennifer, for the updates. Any last uh, words or pieces of wisdom as we look to help out? I just wanna say how touched I've been as I've talked to these people, these principals, these school leaders. Every single one of them just keeps saying we're truly blessed. God granted safety to us, to our members, to our families, and the blessing they're seeing pouring out from people who are offering support. It's holding them up and lifting them up. And so I'm just thankful to be part of this great community where we love and care for each other in good and bad. Fantastic. You can't do any better than that right there. So uh, again, thank you so much for your time.